Hi guys, welcome to another video from Advancing Car. Uh, this week we've been, uh, well Owen and I have been busy boys working on this really smart T6.1. Um, it's a nice fan this. Um, not entirely sure what the customer uses it for, whether he um, puts the rear seats in and things like that and carries kids around and stuff, or if he just uses it as a work van and wanted to be a bit quieter. But um, what we've been doing is just a whole load of sound deadening, um, panel liner and some insulation and stuff as well. So, um, so we've, we've done a couple of vans recently, in the more recent months, um, with lots of sand ending and stuff. Um, and we've had a few more cars that have had lots of sand ending. Um, seems to be a really popular thing that people want done. And you can kind of see why, because it makes a big, big difference, especially to a van like this that is just open, uh, you know, open backed, and you haven't got any uh, bulk head or anything like that in. Um, I think people find that you get a lot of road noise and you get that weird, like, kind of, open air sound behind you that can almost dominate the space. So if you are traveling long distance, you're trying to have a conversation, or you've got music turned up, you have to work everything harder and it becomes quite tiresome. Um, but as soon as you chuck in sound deadening and stop all that kind of reverberation, you get through all these massive panels and things. And then you've also got like some panel liner in there that also helps catch any unwanted sound and things, makes a much nicer place to be, basically. Um, and be they all become a lot more usable. Um, so, you know, a good example really is admittedly this chap hasn't had his front doors done, but I imagine once he sees the difference, he'll probably come back and have front doors done. So you can get a good idea of kind of how hollow that sounds. If you've got a van, you'll know that sound. But now it's all very dead now. And that's all across the both sliding doors all up in the sides here. So if we um, open the fan up, it's nicely specced. It's got you know, electric doors and everything. It hasn't got an electric tailgate though, but yeah. Uh, anyway, so in terms of the silent coat and things, well, we use silent coat. In terms of the sound ending we use, we tend to use silent coat a lot. Um, we just find it works really well, goes on really well, does its job brilliantly. Admittedly, a lot of the sound endings are stuff, it's that same sort of, um, butyl material um, that they're made out of that just sticks and and it's adding like a, a mass to the to the metal so it stops it resonating and takes away that kind of slight boominess you can get from vibrations so um, in terms of what we've done this van has had uh, we stripped out everything from inside all the panels um, all the flooring the steps everything uh, on the floor he's had three mil black uh, sound deadening so it's just a little thicker than the standard two mil stuff that we use normally in the doors and things like that when we do the speakers and things it's just that little bit weightier but also doesn't add too much thickness to the floor that it then makes you know distorts the rubber flooring or um, makes it difficult for refitting steps and things like that otherwise you can you know it's a fine line between having lots of sound deadening and lots of material but then having to put everything, all your standard fixings back in, makes it quite tricky. So three mil all across, full flooring, full coverage, um, as much as we can up around all fixings and things like that. Then on the um, on all side panels, sliding doors, and also full coverage on the roof, he's then had standard uh, two mil. Uh, so we use this one a lot. Like I said, this is the one that gets used in all our doors, front doors and things, when we do speakers and things. Um, again, does a very good job of just stopping that resonating. And that's what it's for. It's it's stopping that, those small movements, those small vibrations you get in a panel. Obviously with stock, you know, a, on a stock vehicle, there'll be a patch from um, factory. There'll be like two patches maybe on this panel that just sort of help. Um, and if it didn't have those from factory, it'd be horrendous. But as soon as you start chucking all this on, everything just gets calmed down and it all just feels and sounds a lot more solid. Um, so this two mil has all gone sides, doors and full roof. Uh, and then on the, um, if we go around the back, we can have a look at the wheel arches on the inside. He's then had um, a much thicker four mil put on the wheel arches. And that really takes away pretty much all of that tire roll you get coming through. Uh, so what will obviously happen is it will then be, you know, the tire roll gets projected, if you like, through the wheel arch 
and then if there's nothing else going on in the van then it just gets amplified in this massive space so those will have been calmed right down by big thick four mil I, I believe he's having some sort of arch covers made fitted whatever at some point um, and then he's gone that next step to on all of the sides and in the doors and on the tailgate we've also done uh, sound ending in the tailgate as well um, he's then had the panel liner now the panel liner is the quite dense smooth foam that um, you've probably you've probably seen in a few of our other videos um, and that's different to the kind of egg box looking stuff that you get in like studios and things which we also use but we use the egg box style one um, on the back of door cards. Now the difference between the two of them is the uh, noise absorber, which is the egg box sort of one that goes on the back of door cards and things. That's brilliant for when you're fitting speakers and it's catching the, um, the higher frequencies, if you like, that are kind of bouncing around and it absorbs all of those and just calms everything down. The panel liner is a much denser foam. So then what that's doing is again, it's, it's helping with calming down and kind of stopping that resonance. It's catching sound, but also what it has is it has like a bit of a, um, an insulating property to it as well. So the back end of this van is also gonna be a lot warmer as well. It's gonna hold its temperature a lot better because he's had full coverage on all the sides, the sliding doors, and the tailgate of um, panel liner. So it's gonna, he'll get that reduced noise, uh, reduced resonance, and also it'll be a lot warmer because it will hold its temperature. Um, and then the final step that this customer wanted was um, the wall insulation in the tailgate. Um, I imagine it might be used for, you know, kind of day van or something at some point, or he might just, you know, want to take it out and it be a bit warmer for whatever reason. But obviously this is a, a high area for allowing more cool air into the van. So uh, we've fully stuffed this tailgate with um, as much wall liner as we could get in there basically. So it's all, it's now, you know, everything, I mean, obviously it's just a standard little card panel. Um, so it's still going to make a bit of noise if something banged against it. But again, that wool is going to also go again towards um, reducing noise and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of it really. It's been a busy, it doesn't, it doesn't sound like it's too difficult, but it is very labor intensive. Um, both mine and Owen's knees have suffered over the past few days of obviously just being on our knees in different areas and things, because you just got to cover everything basically as far, as far down as you can. Um, but obviously take into account that there's kind of wax oil and stuff down there. Um, but you have to go as far down as you can, as far up as you can, into all the little corners as best you can, just to cover everything basically, so that it is as deadened as, as possible um, to reduce all of that noise. So there's not a lot you can see obviously once everything goes back on, um, but with all the clips and images that you'll now be looking at, you can see the amount of work that goes into it. And it's, yeah, it's pretty cool actually, once it's all done and you've got that full layer of, um, of sound deadening throughout the van, it looks pretty cool actually. Um, it's a shame it's not on view, but, uh, but yes, it's a labor intensive job. So if you want it done, because you want that uh, quieter feeling in your van and you want to calm everything down a bit, then get in touch. You know, check out some more of our videos. We did, um, we did a T6 a little while ago that had the forward roof done, forward floor done, doors, the lock, scuffle panel, I think. So, you yeah, know, world's your oyster, basically. All budget dependent and everyone's budget is different. We understand that. But um, yeah, it, I, I fully recommend getting some sort of sound treatment done, especially when it comes to having you know in-car hi-fi done and things like that it makes a massive massive difference i've done my car my tt uh we've done james's saab and it and it does make a huge difference to just calming everything down and giving you more of that that kind of cocoon feeling in your vehicle especially in a vehicle like this it's quite amazing how much of a difference it makes so um yeah check out some more of our videos on sound deadening and um and yeah follow us on our socials and things and if you want to get anything like this done, you know, pop down, have a chat with us. Um, we can try, we might be able to, you know, demonstrate something in one of the cars or something. And um, and then, yeah, just get in contact basically, give us a shout uh, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. I kind of rambled on a bit at the end there, sorry about that. But uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon.